having fun sitting outside. Yeah. Also, you guys, look how cute my porch is. I just added these pretty little lights. Isn't that a DJ? Good morning. Good morning, world. It is 5.35. And that actually can mean one thing, is that I am going to boot camp again this morning. Um, I'm actually uh, not hating the 6 a.m. workouts. It has now been two weeks, I think, since I've been doing the 6 a.m. workouts. I'm not gonna lie, I don't hate them. Um, it's kind of nice having a workout done by seven o'clock in the morning. <laughs> uh, the only thing that I've learned about myself is I am a creature of habit, so when I get home from work, and usually what I do is I get home, I play with Finley, I kind of relax a little bit, change, work out, and then take Finley to for a walk down at North Shore or some kind of, some kind of park. But now I feel like I'm like so much time when I get out of work and I don't know what to do with myself. That at times I even just take a nap because I'm like, what do I do? Um, but recently I've still been doing my morning meltdown workouts, my beach body workout. So I've been doing two workouts sometimes. Most actually almost every day. If I do a six AM work if I do a boot camp I'm also doing the morning meltdown because I don't I don't wanna miss it. But anyways, I'm going to make my little pre-workout now. And then I'm going to meet my friend Megan for a boot camp this morning. What are you doing, bug? All right, I'm going to let him go potty one more time. And then, uh, and then I am going to go work out. And I'm going to vlog today, obviously. So, let's make it a great day. It is so nice out. I had to put the windows down to enjoy the weather. I don't know why it's so blurry. So, just finished boxing. I burned about 350 calories, which is great, before 7 a.m. Um, and now, there's a coffee shop down here called Black Crow that I absolutely love. And I've been being very good about trying not to buy coffee out because I have my coffee machine at home. But this coffee is just so good, so I think I'm gonna go grab a coffee. Happy Friday! <laughs> This is our new police station. It's very, very beautiful. See, I'm showing you guys. This isn't actually the good street to be showing you. I should be showing you Central. So that's Central. This is First Ave North. Not as fun. I sure do love my neighborhood. So this is Black Crow. And this is one of the most recent Instagram pictures I took in front of this mural. The sun is about to rise. Oh look, they have the same. I should have known this is how cute this place is. Mission coffee complete. Cheers. <laughs> now I'm gonna go home and shower and then get ready for my meeting. It's a beautiful day. Do you guys see that sunset? Probably not. It's beautiful. Hello, baby. Hi. Are oh, you ready for the hug? Okay, hugs. Okay, no kisses, but hugs. Hugs. Thank you. I love you too. I love you too. Look how pretty he is. Hi. Your eyes gonna get big like <laughs> what Remy's did. Hey, what you doing? You a good boy? You a good boy while I worked up? And stretch! Oh, good, good. Time to see the sunrise over there. Also, this is one of my favorite things to do, which is sit on my front porch in the morning and listen to the birds. It's amazing. He's sitting in his dirt pit. I also got a quote for a pool. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. But I'm having a dilemma of if I should spend the extra money and get a pool, or should I take that extra money, save it, go on a vacation, I don't know. The problem is, is I really, really, truly, truly love my house and I see myself being here. So having a pool is advantageous for me. However, I don't know what the future is going to hold if I'm going to want to move somewhere else um, or expand my house, you know, build up, build out, um, sell my house because the value of my house is pretty great 
from what I paid for it to maybe sell, but then I have to buy at a higher cost. So being an adult is not what it's all cracked up to be. So if you're a child out there or not an adult completely yet, take your time because you have to make decisions like this and they're not horrible decisions, but they're just hard. So any suggestions, please let me know. His dirt pit. This is what him and Dixie have done to my backyard. Why are you giving me that look? Why are you giving me that look? It's like you're at the beach. Finley, what's that noise? Are you just chilling? Yeah, you're just looking down at your ball like, uh, hello, this is what I want you to do. What is that side eye about? Yeah? And the ball stance begins. Go get it. Somebody's car alarm's going off. My backyard also needs some TLC, so I'm going to have someone come fix this because that bougainvillea is a little unruly right now. And this mango tree is just not supposed to look like that, I don't think. Hello? Hi, this is Dog. Oh, you're so cute. So as you can see, I am already home based on the last clip. I have had a really productive day. This morning I had a meeting. We are actually gonna be doing a world, um, a mental health seminar. We're partnering with an insurance company around here on World Mental Health Day, October 10th. And um, we're gonna have a few different seminars and speakers and I'm actually really, really excited about it. And you know, mental health is such, it's one of those, hot buttons. I, I like to call them the hot subject buttons. And um, I think it's so important that people are talking about it now. And I like to think that it's my generation that really kind of spearheaded the conversations and the they've kind of reduced the stigma, I guess, of mental health. But I think that it's really, you know, maybe even my generation or the generation behind me. And um, I think it's really fantastic that we're that people are starting to feel com comfortable enough to say or recognize when they need help or they need to talk to someone and I think it's so important because um, there's so many issues that go on in a person's daily life that sometimes it's beneficial to just talk to someone and I will be the first person to advocate going and seeing a counselor. I have definitely seen one. I have found benefits in seeing and talking to someone who is kind of an outsider who doesn't really know my circumstance and situations and they can just provide me with guidance. And um, I know that that's not really talked about and I'm definitely not a person to be talking clinically about it. Um, but I am really excited for this upcoming seminar because we're gonna have clinical components of it and just kind of talking about options and barriers that are happening, but different ways to really eliminate, I guess, those barriers. I'm gonna keep switching my hands. But um, little fun fact for you all, I'm not sure if you would even know this, but most employers have what's called an employee assistance program and those EAP is called an EAP program so if you're of working age most of your most of the time your employees have this benefit to you so if you ever find that you want to just I don't know talk to someone that's outside of your family friend circle and you want an expert opinion I would go to your human resources department and ask them about your EAP benefit and yeah so that's my little spiel. Kind of, I said that I kind of wanted to start talking to you about some of the meetings that I'm going to be, that I'm a part of. So that was actually one of them today was just kind of tidying up loose ends for this upcoming seminar that I'm really, really, really excited about. Um, and just kind of give you a little bit of like a, I don't know, a little jewel in your repertoire of knowledge um, as a working person. I don't know, uh, that's, uh, that's yeah. So it's already past five, but I have a few more emails to finish up and then I'm actually gonna do um, a morning meltdown workout because I don't wanna do a two a day tomorrow. I've got a few things going on tomorrow for Saturday. So I'm just gonna do it.
post-workout recovery shake. That looks kind of gross, but it's actually pretty good. <laughs> Someone is just tennis ball obsessed. But I'm okay with that. So that was a really great workout. Also, this may be TMI, so I'm going to preface this. So potential too much information. But I have always heard um, that it's really good when you have, like when your visitor is there or your TO, your Tom is in town, your Tom, you know, time of the month. When that's in town, people in the past have told me like, cause usually there's like, you know, one or two days for most women out there to have like really horrible cramps where they're just like, you just don't even want to do anything. I am just like heating pad, my doll, like just trying everything. And in the past, someone has told me it's really good to work out on those days. Well, you don't want to think about working out when you have these horrendous cramps. However, I'm eating my own words. And I will say that recently when I have had like really, really horrible cramps that, that one or two day during your Tom, um, I've worked out and they've subsided. So if you ladies out there are having really bad, horrible menstrual cramps, I would recommend maybe doing a quick 20 minute workout or go for a walk or a quick, like a light jog because truly it's helped me. It might not help everybody, um, but I'm just, you know, I like to give you guys little tidbits of things that I've learned in my life. And that's one thing that after 33 years, I mean, I haven't had it for 33 years, let's be real. I don't even know how old I was when I first. But anywho, this is one thing that I've learned most recently that, and I've done this before, but I've never wanted to like really give credit to the working out that that's what's help, helped me. But I've determined now that it does help. So just a little FYI for you guys. <laughs> so Finley and I are all, well, I'm all showered and changed. We are on. <laughs> We are on our way to go pick up Finley's girlfriend, Dixie, and Sweet Meg. I actually haven't seen Meg in like, gosh, a week and a half maybe it's been, two weeks. She was sick and then I've just been busy and she's been busy so it's been crazy. Um, so it's time for Meg and Melissa to catch up. Char and Allie and Remy were gonna join us but I think they got caught up at home so they're not able to make it tonight. Or maybe they will, I don't know. I texted them where we were going, so they might show up. But um, yeah, we are gonna go downtown to a place called The Lure, I think. I'm gonna give her a few options because I'm also kind of craving some Italian food. So there's that. But I thought I just saw something in my window. But um, we're definitely gonna go somewhere outside so the pups can join. I figured, you know, Finley's been in hit the house majority of the day all by himself sleeping so it's good that he gets out and gets to see his little girlfriend Dixie. but yeah you excited his bandana is so torn up right now I've got to get him a new bandana I love him I love you I love you buggy yes I know okay hello Dixie hi yeah shaking that nub uh-uh, sir. We don't jump. Uh, no. No. So this is a place called The Lure. And this is Sweet Bay. You guys all know her. I'm supposed, I was supposed to show our food, but we <laughs> kind of devoured it. So this was a mac and cheese. With pork. With pork. And a sweet something. And this is a jalapeno ranch. and It looks actually really disgusting right now, but it was so good. And then this was a fig flatbread. So yeah. Deliciousness. I mean, tater tots. And, and tater, 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 tater tots. Exactly. Thanks for being my date, girl. Are you excited? To get, you got to see your boyfriend? So now we are on. Oh. So now this is downtown St. Pete. We're having a grand old time, aren't you, Finn? So it is time for me to say goodnight to you all. Oh, it zooms in automatically. I don't know why it does that. You guys don't want to be that close to me. But um, it was an awesome night spending some time with Meg and Sweet Dixie. After dinner, we ended up walking um, a few blocks downtown and just kind of see the happenings of downtown St. Petersburg. Um, and then we just went back to the car and went home. 
Um, it was really, really nice night and nothing too crazy. And I'm in, I'm home at a decent hour and gonna go to sleep because I'm exhausted. I've been up since 5.15 this morning. But I hope that you guys have enjoyed today's video. Um, it's been fun vlogging. I say that every single time I pick up the camera now. Uh, I hope that you guys are enjoying these videos. And, you know, I've said it many, many times. I'm, in, I'm never going to be a daily vlogger. I just don't have the capacity to do that. But every once in a while, I will be picking up the camera and vlogging and just saying hi and that I miss you and showing you what's going on in life. <laughs> that was an interesting sneeze, wasn't it? All right, well, I'll see you guys, who knows, maybe tomorrow, uh, I don't know, maybe I'll pick up the camera tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs>